Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 929, unique email addresses. This is an easy level problem on Leak code and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. This function takes in an email, takes in emails, an array of emails, which is an array of strings. And it wants us to return an output of how many unique emails there are. And they have certain rules that we follow such as the first one, whenever you see a period, it can just be ignored. And then the second one, if there's a plus, the period gets ignored. And if we, there's another condition, if there's a plus, whatever is after, including the plus and after it, and but before the at sign is ignored. So there's multiple ways we can solve this problem, but since they are asking us to find unique's email, we're gonna use a set, create empty set. And then inside of the set, we're gonna keep track of all the unique emails in it. Next we wanna do is we wanna loop through emails. And inside of this loop, we can split it We can split it by the at sign. Create variable local and domain since we have a local. The local is whatever is before the at and then domains afterwards. Domain from splitting from split at. Uh, so this is going to create a whole new array and we got to edit the local. So we got to replace the periods inside local with, okay, we can just delete the periods. From local. And then we can split it, split up again, split local from the plus sign. So we'll have another array within this and the first before the plus sign will be what we want. Now we create new variable, new unique email variable to hold local plus at plus domain. And then we add unique email to set. And then at the end of it, return the size of the set. Okay, so first we create the empty set that email set equals new set. And then once you got that, we want to loop through emails for that i equals zero, i is less than emails dot length, i plus plus. And now we want to create the variables local and demand that local and domain equals emails index of i, and we split it at at, let me change this to at. And now we have to change local again, the local equals local dot replace. And when we're replacing it, we have to use regex, so Okay, replacing the period, closing it, global, and we're changing with nothing inside of it. And then we're also splitting it at the plus sign. Great, so that's gonna get solve the, the conditions we want. And now we create a new 
email that unique email equals local and we're just looking at the first index index of zero plus at plus domain and then we can push this to a uh, email set dot add this is what we need unique email and then return email set dot size Great, we got it. Great. So the time complexities, we'll know that we're looping through emails, the length of emails, and inside of this, we're doing loops of each each word, each each uh, yeah word inside of it. So it's going to be O of N times m, n being the length of the emails, m being the length of uh, the string we have, because we're, these are looping through, uh, again, with the, these are, this is the looping during the size of the emails, and here's the loops for the word. And for the space complexity, it's also gonna be O of n times m for the email and setting, and then creating the new words inside of this. So that is how we solve this problem. Thank you.